Welcome to the exciting rebirth of Superstar featuring choose your membership rate as low as just $3 a month. At Superstar, you get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes, class passes for Synchronicity University, consultations with me, and so much more. All of this in the Superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. Hello, fabulous superstar Pisces. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of January, 2023. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month, without a doubt. Big moves happening in the sky now. It is going to be on the 6th of the month that we will have this month's full moon. Now, this full moon takes place in fellow water sign Cancer. It is a part of the sky for you that has to do with lighting up your heart. And boy, does this full moon do just that. Whether it is fun, whether it is creative pursuits, whether it is love pursuits, I'll talk about that a little bit later. Whether it is luck, you know, like the lottery, I don't often say this, but yeah, around this full moon, if it's not a big deal to you, if you stay in an energy of abundance, you might want to get that lottery ticket because the energy we have here is one of windfall and winnings. And so you can see here whether you're enjoying your life and having fun and, and feeling genuinely connected to what it is that makes you happy, whether it is opportunities showing up that are especially rewarding creatively and for your creativity, or whether it is having to do with, yes, that lottery ticket, having just that extra cosmic support to see itself through to a gain. Well, all of this becomes possible for you now. This particular full moon is going to speak in harmony with Uranus. I love this energy for you, I have to say. It is that connection to Uranus in a communicative but also spontaneous part of your sky that says your instincts are likely to be on. Don't bet the farm. I can't say this enough. The key to working with this energy really is that it should be no big deal if you win or you lose. Um, and so if that means a dollar, then just let it be a dollar because it's cosmic support. But ultimately, we don't always know where our fortune is to come from and what is a winning to one person may not necessarily be to another. You know, recently, Yuridia Robles taught a class on the part of fortune, a five week class, and she spends one whole class just talking about how to evaluate what is fortune for this person because everybody has it but it's defined differently and i think that's very powerful to take into consideration and so here we are we have this full moon a lucky energy but it's you that decides to stay in that spirit of luck but also stay open knowing that luck can find you in all kinds of ways it's not just about winning the lottery but you can absolutely feel that at this time, very quickly, you did make some gains. It is also Neptune that's going to speak in supreme harmony with this full moon. Now that is energy I love because Neptune is in your sign. So there's a lot of magic here. Um, it does suggest that there's an openness on a heart level. Uh, and there's a sense that you are working with the universe. Again, your intuition, is so strong at this time. Trust it and you'll be led somewhere good. As we navigate forward on the 12th of the month, that is when we will have Mars go direct. This is huge. Mars has been retrograde since just before Halloween 2022. And it was way back in the first part of September that Mars went into shadow. Whatever is happening now will in some way reflect what was taking place back then. It'll help you to see what was happening back then differently in some way. Whether that is see your past differently, whether that is see your foundations differently, see your home differently, a matter related to home can finally feel unstuck or that it moves forward in some way. It is now that you understand the best course of action to take to affirm the ground on which you stand in the best possible sense as well. As we navigate forward, the 21st and 22nd are lit up in very important ways now. Uh, it is the 21st that we are going to have a new moon in the sign just before yours. And this part of the sky 
has to do with what's happening on levels of soul and psyche and spirit. Uh, this new moon is speaking in harmony with Jupiter. Now that is energy I really love for you. I feel like this represents uh, either self-love that shifts something very deep within you. It could be um, financially related, financial blessings or something changing that feels very fortunate for you as well. Perhaps a fortunate closure. Uh, a, a certain project you didn't really like, you didn't really want to pursue. These are the types of endeavors that can find you at this time. Also possible is that this can be a moment and it can be a time when you feel as if you need more rest. That can be positively rejuvenating for you now. And this can also be a time that feels as if you're connecting that much more easily to soul, yes, psyche, yes, but also source. It's about plugging into source and affirming some sense of faith in yourself. Faith in your worthiness can be a big part of the gains that you make now. But what we also have happening in the same time frame is in the same part of the sky, Venus will meet Saturn. Now, this can be quite the heavy, consequential energy. It's about taking responsibility. And yet this may just represent a few moments that are quickly moved forward from a couple of days, a little bit of sleeplessness, and yet no harm, no foul. Whether it is massively consequential, a huge turning point or not, on an inner level, certainly, chances are you'll feel a shift and be invited to be still in some way. And we also have, <laughs> on the same day, Uranus going direct. This is huge. Uh, Uranus moving forward now, it speaks to that new moon as well because it is the modern ruling planet of that new moon. And with Uranus going forward in a communicative part of the sky, a part of the sky that also has to do with siblings, cousins, and neighbors, well, it could be now that you feel there is positive forward momentum playing out in the lives of these people now. At the same time, it can be now that it feels as if finally the right information comes through, you get the document that you need, and there is that sense of being able to now having the information, knowing the right steps to take. Matters having to do with negotiation or contracts start to feel that much more clear at this time as well, partly because on the 18th of the month, Mercury goes direct as well. So there's a lot here to look forward to. It's like learning becomes that much more clear uh, and, and that much more insightful at this time, along with your ability to just say the right thing to help you to change your circumstances very quickly in a way that you love. This could be a moment that something you share online, perhaps not even thinking about it, could end up going viral and it reaching a whole lot of people very quickly. So just to the best of your ability, strive to share consciously, especially considering that uh, we have all that 12th house energy. So there's all this energy happening in a part of the sky uh, that has to do with what you're doing unconsciously, which sometimes can work towards what you want, and sometimes not. And so it is now that you get this real opportunity to gain insights into self, but also to consciously cultivate a voice that helps leap you forward in some way. Now, where it comes to matters of love, there are a couple of energies to take into account here. On the one hand, uh, we do have Venus entering your sign on the 27th. So from the second of the month, right to the 22nd, Venus is moving through the sign just before yours. And so really for almost the entire month, it is what's happening on those unconscious levels, but also behind the scenes that is going to speak to love in some ways. Once Venus enters your sign, though, it really feels like a brand new chapter in the context of love, where you're able to attract love that much more easier into your life. Also take into consideration that full moon, alighting your heart, opening your heart, and helping you to become more aware of what it is that you really want in the context of love. You are getting your flirt on and whatever is taking place, it just illuminates a sense of possibility for you now. So for those of you open to meeting someone new, I do love that full moon energy. Like I said, you are getting your flirt on, you are having fun, and it seems like you're able to make connections with other people in a way that feels exciting and enlivening and easy as well. 
It can be at this time that as a result of whom it is that you attract, you're able to affirm that there absolutely are options available to you in the context of love. Make sure you're doing whatever it is that's fun for you, whatever helps you to feel open and light because it's in those very contexts that it feels as if love just shows up for you. For those of you just starting to date somebody, what a remarkable time this can be in the context of dating. I do feel like this full moon is going to illuminate how you really feel and perhaps whether or not you really want to move forward with this person. In one way, perhaps that is the case. Uh, and that would be a realization that comes very quickly and feels really hopeful and romantic and lovely, which is great. However, remember, as we navigate beyond this full moon, very quickly the energy will change. We're going to have Venus squaring Uranus mid-month before moving on to connect in the sky with Saturn. So there's this real sense here of massive consequence that isn't necessarily and always easy, and yet it is honest. It is true. Enjoy yourself, be yourself, and see what it is that needs to come together with this person. For some, this is going to be a delightful time that helps the two of you feel that much more connected on a heart level. For those of you in an established bond, well, look, I see a couple of energies playing out here. On the one hand, that full moon, yes, because it makes you aware of what your heart desires and what love feels like to you, what love is for you. And so where it is that maybe you want to feel more connected with your partner on that level, that could stir for you at this time. But also, and at the same time, for almost the entire month, we have Venus moving through a part of the sky that has to do with what's just under the surface, what's stirring within. And it also has to do with closing karmic ties. I feel like you are about to get very honest about your relationship. Where a relationship is good, it grows very strong on a spiritual level now uh, in a way that can feel unshakable going forward from here. But where it is that there have been doubts, where it is that you feel that you might not be with the right person for you, this month can represent a time of transition when you are striving to move away from where it is you are in love and instead focus on where it is you hope to go. What I love about this month for you, there's so much here. It's a valuable and meaningful astrological moment. I am going to say, look, Venus entering your sign uh, towards the end of the month is lovely, right? You do want to focus on that. And I'll talk more about that next month because that's really when things kick up where it comes to Venus in your sign. Having said that, that full moon is so fortunate. In some way, you are aligning with your understanding of what a windfall looks like for you. It feels inspired, yes, but it also feels hopeful for how it is that life really can change and grow towards greater happiness very quickly, especially at this time. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this each and every week for each and every sign for as low as just $3 a month with choose your membership rate. Now, higher tiers get you things like all access passes to Synchronicity University events, consultations with me, and so much more. All of this in the superstar space at NadiaShawSuperstars.com. Link is in the description below. Thank you for watching. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.